All right, I got some uh, winterization tips on you for you today on Slipstream Wash, and uh, we're going to start with this cold kitchen. That uh, when I moved in this house, this this kitchen was really cold, and without too too much investigation, I found out that it was cold air was coming right in through the outlets and from the windows. And these are actually high quality double pane uh, windows and there's a storm wind on the outside. So the issue here, just like normally, unless you live in a really old crappy house with really radly uh, windows and window sills, but uh, the issue here is not cold air per se coming through the window the cold air is coming in around the window. And when they put these in, what, what they did when they installed these uh, sashes, uh, uh, these walls have fiberglass insulation, of course, and they, they pulled it away. And when the window was installed, they didn't really exactly tuck it back in around the window frame very much. And so, of course, you got cold air coming in. And the, the way I fixed this kitchen, and it doesn't matter which window it is, it was both of them. And uh, as well as literally all the outlets in here. And uh, what I've done is I went and got expansion foam. And uh, it, it doesn't matter what kind, I'm not going to say any uh, brand names here. But uh, get yourself some high quality expansion foam, however many cans as you need. For this kitchen I needed probably three cans. And... Uh, What's great about expansion foam is it expands, of course, and it has a really high R value or reflective insulative value. So it works really super good. And when it gets in an area, it's going to expand and fill in all the cracks. And the way I solved this was I drilled into the walls around uh, the windows and, and outlets and took the outlet covers off, but I'll get to that in a minute. But and you can kind of see here because I haven't repainted yet. But I've drilled like, oh, every, uh, probably 20 inches. And I've injected a good amount of expansion foam into the wall. And uh, it actually, when it hardened, it actually came out these little holes a little bit. And I just shaved it off with a knife or you can use a razor blade, whatever. And then you're just going to repaint the wall to match that. And it's going to solve your problem forever. And that fixed these old cold 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 windows and the outlets I took the outlet cover off and in every outlet box you'll see little holes in there where they have uh, uh, options for wires and what have you and uh, I took the tube of the expansion foam and stuck it through a little hole on the outlet and sprayed and injected foam into the wall all around the outlet and even on some of them around the outlet box you could even fit it in between the crack of the wall or drywall in the outlet box and sprayed in all around those and wow did it fix this kitchen this this kitchen is like 400 percent warmer and it, it was bad you could come in here and, and feel the breeze and that's another thing is these uh ceiling lights the same problem was the contractors didn't re-push in the insulation around these so i had to open these up and again, in the box, there's little holes, and I stuck my little straw in there and ejected all into the wall, all around here. Plus, up here, I drilled here, and I drilled here and ejected expansion foam all inside of here and filled basically all this area in around there. And uh, some of the outlets that were really bad, I also drilled in around those and injected expansion foam. And this is a really really inexpensive fix for a permanent nagging problem and you can use this on your camper camp home mobile home anywhere I strongly advise you do this it works extremely well thank you for watching and subscribing to slipstream wash many many more videos are to come